Hello Year 6 and welcome back to video number 2. Remember my name is Mrs Dixon and I'm the head teacher of Christ School. I'm really really grateful for all the emails that we've received for at our email address transition at Christ.school and some of the key issues that you've raised such as uniform, timetable, meeting friends and lockers we're going to cover in this video so we can answer some of your questions. Okay, this is an example of one of the timetables of one of our current year seven. Now, as you can see, we operate a two week timetable and this is week A and this is week B. So if we just have a look at what you might have on a week A on a Monday, your timetable tells you that you would have PE and it gives you the teacher's initials. Now, don't worry, you don't have to work out what that means because at the bottom of your timetable, it will tell you what the teacher's name is. So you can see that this student has PE, period one, and then period two will go to citizenship with Mr. Jenner in R11. That's the room number. And don't worry about getting lost to support you with that. We'll be on the doors doing that. Then you can see there's a thick line. That's when we have our break and you can go to the canteen if you want or go outside and meet up with your friends. We then have period three. And this student has music with Mr. Wilson in U80, which is the music block. We then go to registration and we call it personal development time or it's tutor time on your timetable. So you go and meet your tutor and you will have half an hour in your tutor room working through the character and culture programme or on a Monday you will have collective worship and another day in the week you may have collective worship for your year group. Another thick line indicates it's lunchtime. So again, you can come and get some food in the canteen or you can sit outside if you bring your own food, you can catch up with your friends and have a break. We have two lessons you can see in the afternoon. So in period four, this student would have Spanish with Miss Camper in languages room 16, followed by maths um, in M626. So as you can see, that's just one day and we've got five days a week, but notice that the timetable is different from a week A to a week B. So we always recommend when we give you your timetable on the first day that you arrive, that you take a photo of it and then you've got it on your phone and you can keep the copy as well. And you might want to make several copies, put up in your bedroom, put on the kitchen fridge, because it's really important you remember what week it is, A or B, because you'll be packing different subjects and different books and different equipment depending on the day and on the week. Okay, we're gonna to start today's tour back by the chapel behind reception, which is where we started the tour in week one. And we are now going to go up the stairs. Remember, one-way system, so follow me. So we're going to go up the upstairs in the main building. Remember, I've got E7 behind me and the staff room and the art rooms in front of me. And upstairs is the English corridor on the first floor. Okay, so we're on the first floor on the English corridor. Over here is the learning support department and then the rest of the classrooms on this corridor are for English. And we also have our library here. So follow me, let's have a look at one of the classrooms. Okay, so we've now come up the stairs again, so we're directly above the English corridor and we're on the, on the Modern Foreign Languages corridor. And we also have C20, um, which is the computer room. Now, when you come here in Year 7, you will do French and Spanish together until October half term. And then October half term, you get to choose which language you would like to continue for the rest of your journey at Christ's. Let's go and have a look in one of the languages rooms. Okay, we've now come down a few steps of the humanities block, and you saw the floor below, which was also humanities last week. We've got some examples of some of our lockers, because I know a lot of you have been asking us about the lockers. Now the lockers are on a first come first serve basis and your parents and carers will get all the information about what they need to do in July. The lockers are really really useful, you need to remember your key every day but you can put your PE kit and if you've got lots of books that you're carrying around you can leave them in there at the beginning of the day and come back during break or lunch time to change over your equipment. Okay next to the humanities block is the science lab, this is the main science corridor, we have four labs here. 
Now you will study science from year 7 all the way to year 11 and some of you will continue to do it at A level. There's lots of practical experiments and demonstrations and it is a really popular and fun subject. Let's have a look in one of the classrooms. A lot of you have emailed in the questions about making friends and I know that some of you might be a bit worried about that. And when I've had a look at the list of who's joining, there are a large number of you who are the only ones coming from your primary school. And that happens every year, so please don't worry. What we do is we mix up all the tutor groups so we make sure there's a real balance of different students coming from different primary schools. And then when you first arrive at Christ, we do a lot of icebreaker and getting to know you activities. And by the end of the first day, I can guarantee you'll have made at least one or two new friends. Another question that a lot of you have asked is about the uniform and where you get it, where you buy it and what is it. So a letter will be coming out to you in the next few days and there'll be a full uniform list there of everything that you need to buy. It will also give the details of how you can buy it and we use Stevenson's in Twickenham. Now you can buy online or you can go in, you need to make an appointment now because of Covid-19 and we have been given a week for Christ School and that week is the 22nd to the 28th of June and so you need to make an appointment with them if you want it fitted. Alternatively, you can just go online and buy the uniform. The letter will explain about the houses as well, because you will all have a different colour tie and different colour PE kit, because we have four houses with four different colours, and that's how we can tell what house you're in. So please pay very careful attention to the letter that's coming out, which house you're in, because that will dictate which part of the PE uniform and which colour tie you need to buy. So that's the end of video two from me. Please look out for our next video and there you will see a lot of our year seven students and they're going to be talking about their experiences of joining Christ and what they like about it. And they'll be answering a lot of the questions that you've asked. So I hope you have a good week and I look forward to meeting you soon. Bye bye.